Hello friends, I am back with a video in my Christmas jammies. Um, if you hear TV in the background, my kids are in the bedroom watching the Mario movie and we lost the remote, so we don't know how to turn it down. We can't turn it down because there is no remote. Um, so that's unfortunate. So I'm gonna try to talk loud and kind of over and I'm gonna put music over this um, so that hopefully it'll drown out some of that noise. But today I'm going to be doing my last book haul of the year. I did go to the bookstore on Black Friday. I did get some Black Friday deals on Amazon books. Um, and some of them I just bought on a whim. Um, so I'm going to go over all the books that I bought. Um, and yeah. Um, so stay tuned. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. And let's just get into the video. So first things first. You saw where I was rereading the um the zodiac academy series this one i didn't buy i don't know why i brought that one down all right so i bought the last two books in the series that i did not own yet so book eight and book 8.5 book nine the last book in the series comes out in april so i'm so excited um uh, i am currently in the middle of book five yeah five so all right and then um if you watched my 20 what was it I don't know, the day in my life or week in my life or whatever, um, I went and got the holiday like special version of Fourth Wing. And while I was there, I picked up Powerless. I have heard great things about this, so I'm so excited to read this. Um, anything that gives off like Hunger Games vibes, I'm there for it. Um, because Hunger Games is one of my favorite series of all time, so very excited to jump into this series. I'm trying to put stuff on the shelf as I go just so that I don't have a big mess to clean up when I get done filming this. But um, I also picked up Full Measures by Rebecca Yaros. I figured if she can create a man like she did in Fourth Wing, then I've got to read one of her romance novels. Like, come on now. Um, and this one sounds really good. Oh no. The cover's ripping. That's not good. Um, so basically like this, it's a hockey star. And her new neighbor, so gotta love that. Also, if you hear something, my cat's over there playing with something. I don't know what. Like, you're just gonna get noise all around, and I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, so we got Full Measures by Rebecca Yaros, the good old hockey romance. I am here for it. And then something that I am really excited for is I picked up One Dark Window and Two Twisted Crowns. I'm really excited to read this duology. I've heard nothing but great things about it. Um, I was gonna pick it up at Barnes and Noble when I was there, like. A week or two ago but I could only find two twisted crowns and so I went ahead and jumped on Amazon bought the whole duology so I'm really excited to jump into this um, and see what all the hype is about because I have FOMO that's where a lot of this stuff come from it's FOMO just gonna be honest with you all right my you saw this in another video but anyway my book of the month pick for November was this spells love um, I don't know it was a good like little witchy like kind of kind of kind of reminded me of like the xx i guess you know where they cast a spell and anyway so i picked that up i also picked up check and mate i'm so excited about this book i love ally hazelwood and this is her first ya so i'm really excited about that and then in that box i also got the whisper man another horror book i'm excited yet also scared but i'm here for all the vibes book of the month also like damaged all three of my books that's okay that's okay. I mean, it's not, but I'll live, you know. All right, something else I also picked up is Pen Pal. This is a horror. Um, all the videos I've watched, everybody like freaks out about it. Um, it's about this guy. He's like trying to put together like this puzzle of something that happened when he was younger. And everybody that I've seen talk about this says that it creeps them out like so bad. So I'm, I'm not really a horror book fan, but... We're gonna read it and see what it's all about. I mean, I like a, a little jump scare, you know, you know. And I think that book is also based off like a Reddit thread or something, I don't know. Um, and then I picked up, because I am the way that I am and I can't just get the first book in a series, I have to have all of it before I start. And that is the um, Kingdom of the Wicked series. I picked it up. I know that she's just come out with another book that's in the same universe that I, it sounds interesting. So we're going to read this series, see how we like it, and then maybe pick up the new book. Um, so yeah, this is, this series has been all over the place. I don't have to tell y'all about it because I'm sure y'all have heard about it, but, um, it's YA. And then as the series go on, I heard it gets more, um, new adult. So 
Kingdom of the Wicked series. Picked up all three. Um, something else I'm really excited about is Lauren Asher's new new um release, Love Redesign. This is a new um series she's coming out with like front billionaires and i love how like this is like textured i don't know i love this cover y'all this cover is so beautiful um but yeah barnes and noble exclusive we're gonna take all these stickers off but I'm so excited to read this one y'all i have a book shopping addiction and it's bad like it's really bad really bad um this book i'm excited about it's part of um, the a meant to be novel i guess and this is a um Little Mermaid retelling, Kiss the Girl. I don't know. It sounds so freaking good. I saw it at Target and I just, I had to pick it up. Um, oh, is there pictures? Is there pictures? Is there, no, no, okay. <laughs> I was about to get excited because there's going to be illustrations, but there's not. Um, so Kiss the Girl, this sounds really good. Um, it's about a girl named Ariel. Um, she's a sing one of the most famous singers in the world. She and her sisters um, have a band together, The Siren Seven. Cute. Um, they have been a pop sensation since they were kids. Against their wishes, their father, the head of Atlantica Records, Ariel sneaks off as an anonymous merch girl on the summer tour of an up-and-coming band fronted by a dreamy singer, Eric Reyes. Prince Eric. Oh my gosh, y'all. I might have to pick this up like and read it right now. This just sounds cuter the more I read. I'm so excited. All right, um, something else I'm really excited about is I bought the new covers of um, the Off Campus series and they all have sprayed edges. So here is The Deal, The Mistake, The Score, The Goal, and The Legacy. Y'all, these covers are so freaking cute. I've only read book one and book three, so I'm excited to go back and reread those as well. And like, I want to read them in order um, before I start like the spinoff series. Like I have the gram effect, but I want to wait until I read this series in its entirety before I go and do that spinoff series. Um, but I'm really excited. Like these spread edges are so beautiful. I love the new like um, cartoon covers. Like, oh, I'm so excited. And then I picked up the last books that are out in the Addicted slash Callaway Sister series. So now my um, my collection is complete for right now. Um, I did pre-order Fuel the Fire that comes out December 6th. They're only like releasing one of the new covers like every few weeks or every few months. Um, so I figured I'd just keep pre-ordering and, and just keep getting them as I go. Um, if you watch my next video, you will see that um, I did in fact restart the Addicted series. I read Addicted to You um a couple days ago i just finished it so yeah i'm excited about that um today well we'll go in order so then <clears throat> if you know you know if you've read iron flame anyway i picked up the whole entirety of vampire academy series have i read the first four books yes did i also already own this series at one time also yes I gave it to my sister because she really wanted to read it. And so instead of just asking for it back, I let her have it and uh, bought me a new one. So we're going to put that on the shelf. So um, then on Black Friday, I mean, there wasn't really any good deals going on. I did get um, Bright Young Women for 50% off. Let's go ahead and... One thing I really like about Books A Million is when they put stickers on there, they put another sticker underneath so that it's only touching, like the only the edge of the sticker are touching the book. So they're really easy to come off. That's one thing I really like about them. Um, they understand us when it comes to stickers on covers. But um, I got Bright Young Women. I've been wanting to read this for a while. I know this is based off loosely, I guess, I don't know, off of Ted Bundy. It's about, it's based on like the girls that he murdered. Um, so I'm excited to read that. I am a huge true crime junkie. And I've heard that this doesn't really read like a thriller. It reads more like, I don't know, like a historical fiction slash, I don't, I don't know. I've heard that it doesn't read like a thriller, which is okay with me. So I'm really excited to read this and um, see all the hype. And then today, oh no, I'm not done. I'm not done. Um, also, when I went, I bought Wreck the Halls. I'm excited to read this in December. 
um, and Love Light Farm. So these are two Christmas books that I'm excited to read. Um, Tessa Bailey, I love Tessa Bailey. And then I've heard great things about this series. If I enjoy it, then I will go and pick up the rest of them. Um, but yeah, those are two little Christmas books I picked up. And I've heard that this one isn't exactly a Christmas book. It's like, it's set in December and the family owns a, like a Christmas tree farm. But you could read this any time of the year is what I've heard. I don't know. We're gonna read it and see. And then today I went to Walmart. This is where I got my new jammies. I also got some Christmas mama bear jammies. I'm so excited about. But Megan Quinn is now getting traditionally published by and Bloom picked her up. Bloom always hits when it comes to covers. I love Bloom. Not only are they like the most floppiest things ever, and I never have I knock on wood, but to this day I still have never creased a cover if it was by Bloom. I just I love their covers. Like they always hit. But I got a not so meet cute. I have read this before. I just don't own a physical version. Um and it's been so long ago that I might actually read this again. But one of the things that caught my eye um, yeah, I can't show that picture on YouTube. There are illustrations in here. Um, so, there are illustrations, so I'm excited about that. And then the last book in this haul is, it's also by Bloom. I love these covers. They're so freaking floppy. Um, it's June 1st by Jennifer Hartman. She is the one that wrote Steel Beating and Lotus. So, I'm really excited that I've never even heard of this book. I just saw it, and I saw the cover, and I was like... Uh, yes. And if you know Jennifer Hartman's writing, you know that it's going to break you, break your heart, put you back together. Like I'm excited. So those are all the books that I have in this haul. If you have not already, please like subscribe, join my bookish family. It would make my day and I will see you in the next one. Um, yeah, I, I realize that I have a book buying problem. Um, I have acknowledged it. I know it's there. Do I plan on doing anything about it? No. But anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one.